how is his marketing and culture, you know, uh, different in places like Germany, you know, because you now can can help people globally, like whether they're from here, or from there, reaching a market, say in Germany versus reaching a mar market that's here. Yeah. So a lot of it is understanding the customer mindset and that consumer behavior, right? And so growing up in Germany to Middle Eastern parents, I have a really good balance of understanding those two different parts of the world mm -hmm. in a very natural way, right? So, and I think that's where marketing is, is really, it, it's different because you have to understand how to adapt and how to localize your efforts. So a lot of times you have, you know, for instance, when I was um, spending time those two years back in Germany, I was working at L'Oreal for about six months and I was writing my master thesis with them. And a lot of what we focused on in our marketing, and this was product marketing for a hair care brand at the time, a lot of what we focused on was the marketing we were receiving from France at the time, because it was for Garnier Fructis, you know, those green mm -hmm. shampoo bottles. And we would receive the the marketing or the creative from France, but it would have to be adapted to the German consumer and the mm -hmm. German market. And so understanding what is that customer looking for? What are their what are their habits, right? I mean, with hair care is well, what are the the hairstyles and the hair types that we have in Germany versus France? And how do women care about their hair? And what are things that they um, that, that's important to them, right? That's different for everybody in, in different territories, different you know, geographically. Mm -hmm. So focusing on a lot of that. And I think when you understand your customer in different markets and in different cultures, that is really key to doing good marketing and making sure that you're talking to them and not at them. Y'all. Does this sound familiar at all? Come on now. You know, I love I love this. And I love when people echo it from all kinds of different places too, because I'm all, you know, when we're talking about creating wholesale bundles and people are creating products and putting them together for their customer, that is literally rule number one that I tell people all the time. So I love hearing you say that. Like, it's all about understanding your customer. What do they want? What do they need? What motivates them? What motivates them to buy your product. It's because you're speaking a language that they understand. You're using text, you're using images that they relate to. And they say, oh yeah, I mean, I am a curly haired girl, right? So, and obviously you brought out your natural curls today too, which I yes. love. Um, <laughs> And I'm a curly girl, but my biggest problem is fighting frizz, right? I live in, you know, humid Michigan, which my, my Floridian friends are rolling their eyes right now because they're like, yeah, you don't know nothing about humidity until you live in the South. I get it. Um, but still, like, I, I care about that. If someone says you're going to have shiny, no frizz, like no buildup. These words are like, exactly. yes, give me that. Yes, yes, yes. So it's all about knowing mm -hmm. what your customer wants. And the thing there is multiculturally no matter if you live in America or Germany or wherever, we have different needs multiculturally as well, different wow. just differences. And so knowing the customer, what are you selling? If it's your brand and you're building a brand, what are you about? Are you relating to the people who you're trying to relate to? Because that makes yeah. a difference. I mean, culturally and uh, geographically and demographically, we all have different differences. We shop for different products. We look for different brands to align with. I mean, if we're not seeing people that look like us and sound like us and talk like us we don't relate to that ad and we want nothing to do with it like oh that brand doesn't care about curly haired girls every single person a model in their in their commercial all has this straight sleek like yeah. beautifully black hair or blonde hair or whatever it is and i'm like yeah what about these? Can you help me with like, show me like a frizz hair here and then like beautiful curls over here. And I'm like, where, take my money. Right. So yeah, absolutely. building that brand, building a brand and a product and, and advertising and marketing around that message of, I understand you. I care wow. about you. I care about your needs. That's how you sell stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. So I love, I love what you're doing with, with the marketing there.